Zakir Naik is not only telling lies regarding Jesus' ascension and his status on his return, but he is also concealing facts about some of his most important missions on his second coming. Therefore, mentioning Jesus' sole mission and purpose, he says, So in the second coming, he will come to testify that I never told you to worship me, but I told you to worship only one God. He will come to testify only to the Christians that I never claim divinity. Zakir Naik claims that Jesus will come only to testify to the Christians that he never claimed divinity. Is it true that according to the Ahadith, the only purpose of Jesus' coming is to testify to the Christians that he never claimed divinity? Absolutely not. Because the most authentic book of Hadith tells us that the most important purpose of Jesus' coming will be to act as a spiritual arbitrator among the Muslims. So we read in Sahih Bukhari that the Prophet peace be upon him said that by him in whose hands my soul is, son of Mary, will shortly descend amongst you people as a just ruler and will break the cross. Thus according to this hadith, denying the divinity or in other words breaking of the cross is secondary. His most important task will be to act as a just ruler or a spiritual arbitrator for the Muslims. And it should have been like this because in another hadith the Prophet peace be upon him had told us that the Muslims are going to be divided into 73 sects. He also told us that 72 out of these 73 sects are going to deviate from true Islam to the extent that the Prophet peace be upon him has referred to them as hell bound. In another hadith, the Prophet peace be upon him had said that this will be the time when Islam will be in name only, that is, without its true understanding. Therefore, at the time of this complete darkness in Islamic religious world, there was the need for the divinely guided reformer to whom the Prophet, peace be upon him, had given the title of Jesus. It is strange that despite 72 out of 73 sects of Muslims becoming hell-bound, Zakir Naik does not feel the need for a divine guidance for Muslims. Rather, he insists that a man of the vision and spiritual status of Jesus will do nothing to take these 72 hell-bound sects of Muslims back to true Islam. Furthermore, will breaking of the cross be as simple as Zakir Naik thinks? Will it be sufficient for someone to come and say, Look, I am Jesus and I have come to testify that I never claimed divinity. Breaking of the cross will be as difficult as any great mission can be. Breaking of the cross needs rational evidences from the books of the Christians themselves and from history as well that Jesus actually survived the crucifixion and migrated to Kashmir where he later died a natural death like all other human beings, thus proving that there was nothing unique in him and that he was just like all other human prophets who lived and died on this earth. This great task has been accomplished by Hadrat Ahmad salam of Qadian who had proved Jesus' survival and his migration with such irrefutable evidences that today many Christian scholars, researchers and historians are compelled to admit these facts. Many books have been written and many research documentaries have been made by the Christians themselves accepting the fact that Jesus had survived the crucifixion and migrated to Kashmir. Tamam Kashmir ki tariqon mein yahi likha hai ki ye bahar se aaya hai ye ye 
प्रॉफिट था ये पैगंबर था और इसराइल से आया नस्वैन से अंदर बॉर्डर में आया है और फिर यही तबलीग कर रहा है रहा है वही चीज़ जैसे वही मसीह भी है क्योंकि यूज असफ के मायने हैं जो कोडी के मरज में हूँ उनको शिफा देने वाला उनका इलाज करने वाला जो शफा याब हुए यूज असफ के दूसरे मायने हैं जमा करने वाला Yusuf continued to teach and to preach in Kashmir until he died around the year 80 AD. He was buried in Srinagar. And this rather modest building is, they say, his tomb. But this is a sacred site, and short of exhumation, there is no way of discovering whether the body buried here is that of a man who once survived crucifixion. However, next to the sarcophagus are the carved footprints of Yusuf, and they do have marks or scars on them. अच्छी उम्र में ये फोट हो गया है और उसके पांवों के निशानात का पत्थर पर उन्होंने कुंडा कर रखे हैं जैसे कि थे वैसे ही रखे रखे हैं निशान के तौर पर उनमें जख्मों के निशानात बिल्कुल साफ नजर आते हैं जो सलीब पर चढ़ाने की वजह से उनके पाओ में जख्म जख्म आए थे The position of the scars just behind the toes do not match each other but they would align if a single nail was driven through both feet with the left foot placed on top of the right There are many who believe this to be the tomb of Jesus. If this is the tomb of Jesus, then he spent most of his life in the mountain kingdom of Kashmir. He did not die on the cross. There was no resurrection. He did not ascend into heaven, and he does not sit at the right hand of God. For many Christians, this would be the end of christianity as we know it at the end i would like to inform the viewers that the religious scriptures usually contain metaphors and parables it was told in the bible that elijah was ascended to heaven and that he will return before the coming of the messiah apparently these were metaphoric statements ascending or rising up means exaltation of spiritual ranks and descending or returning means coming of another prophet of similar characteristics but jews took the metaphors about elijah as literal and they did so despite knowing that human beings taken up to heavens and returning back is totally against the established laws of nature Therefore when Jesus alayhisalam claimed to be their messiah they rejected him saying that if you are the true messiah then why elijah has not yet returned it was jesus alayhisalam himself who gave the verdict that once gone from our world people never return thus he said that elijah was not to come himself rather it is john the baptist who has come under his title but the jews have not recognized him it is amazing that today return of the same jesus is awaited who himself had given the verdict that once gone from this world people never return rather others come in their name and character human beings physically ascending to heaven and thousands of years later returning is nothing more than a myth that has never happened in the past nor will it happen in the future the one who was to come under the title of jesus has already come like the previous messiah 
His message is peace and love and he has forbidden fighting and bloodshed in the name of God.